Who that? You want to be Phil? Big Phil? No, throw what you want. There he is, dude. Phil. <laughs> God damn, you look good. He says I can't hear him. You look good. Tell me, he looks yeah. good. You say something nice to the people. Just anything. During these challenging times, we'll only be stronger when we're done. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you might have infected him, bro. He might have just, yeah, you might have just died. But that was a good last message. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Don't die in that goddamn sweat. <laughs> Something that Oprah would wear. Okay, beat it. He said, I'm going to die dressed like Oprah. <laughs> Phil came in from working outside and hit me with the fucking, I just listened to your podcast. It's you and your friend talking about wiping your ass for 20 minutes. You're not allowed to take mom's car anymore. Damn. So he, he hit me with the you're grounded. So Because the, the cruise was in the shop. How fun was that, though? It's so fun. Green skins versus Dracula's? Yeah. <sighs> What's your dad say about your video game He playing? doesn't know, dude. He doesn't know? You think I'm going to let Phil see me playing Dracula? I'm going to text him. Dude. What would he say if he walked in on you doing the green skins versus the Dracula's? <laughs> <laughs> he would be upset, dude, because I'm, I'm I put it in my room. I'm laying on my bed playing it. Oh. He would walk in and see me laying on my belly on a computer, <laughs> feet in the air, kicking. <laughs> He'd see me, and I'd have to, and, it, and I'm facing the wall, so, so he, the door would be behind me. So he'd open it, and I'd have to be like, get out of here, Dad. <laughs> all the way up in your thighs. Shorts are all the way up. I'm like, Dad, get the fuck out. He's like, it's dinner. I'm like, I'm not ready yet. He can see your I told you I didn't want any. <laughs> Phil had to do that once. What? Tibble got in a fight in the front yard with, with another with, cat. So it was like, you know, five, six in the morning. You just hear two cats screaming. Oh, Phil so ran down in his whitey tighties. <laughs> this is like 6 a.m. So people are like walking out to get oh, the newspaper and shit. <laughs> like school buses. Oh. Phil was out in just his whitey tighties and a fishing rod swinging at the cats. So he grabbed a fishing rod from the closet that was right by the door and just started whipping the cats. <laughs> yeah, man. It's a strong tradition in the Gillis family, too. Cat whipping? If your cat's in a fight, you got to jump in, dude. Oh, my God. I was ready to strangle a fox. You have to, man. And then he, he came, me and him got in a beef, dude. Hard beef. Why? I haven't seen him spaz like this in a while. He came back from the men's club. Had a couple drinks in him. Cold pop. He's like, we're watching golf. We're watching it. And I was like, hockey's on. It's playoff hockey. So Phil comes in. He's like, put it on. And then he, like, scream, he was, like, screaming, like, trying to fight me. In front of my family, everybody in there was yeah. like, Phil, relax. And he was like, what the fuck? It? Like, he's he, was he needed to see what was going yeah, on. But he doesn't know. So they lost the remote that controls the TV. They have the cable remote. That's what they use. But they, they lost the remote. So I downloaded an app on my phone that can be, that's the remote. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just kept changing it <laughs> from anywhere. You can, I can go in my room and change it. He had no idea. I can hit like channel down and you just hear this, God. Fucking damn it. <laughs> and then I just, uh, I went to YouTube and typed in 10 hours of Trump saying bing, bing, bong. <laughs> bing, bing, bong. <laughs> and put that on. And uh, that literally resulted in him chasing me through the house. Because <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get it back off. I couldn't get it off. I was like, I don't know how to change it. He was like, change it right now, motherfucker. <laughs> like, and it was just Trump on full volume going, bing, bing, bong. <laughs> bing, bing, bong. And then my niece and nephew started going, bing, bing, bong. <laughs> like, screaming. everyone was screaming at him. Bing, bing, bong. Bing, bing, bong. Bing, bing, bong. They have done a great job of prop propagandizing just everybody to be like, fuck free healthcare, dude. Fuck what that, am I, dude. gay? You just call me gay? <laughs> I'm trying to pay. And then everyone goes to the hospital and like, 80,000 bucks? And they're like, this is crazy, man. And you're like, yeah, we can set it up for free. You're like, fuck you, dude. Don't ever say that again. I'd rather stay my whole life in medical debt. I'm in debt because I broke my leg on a bike. I'm in debt for America. <laughs> dude, I brought it up to my, my dad. I got in a fight with Phil like yesterday. Yeah. Not a fight because I was just like, just tell me why, dude. Why? He's like, yeah. guys, go to those other countries, Shane. You sit in a waiting room for three days. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking? You, you've never been to England. <laughs> I was like, every Western country has it. He's like, yeah, like who? Name one. Canada. <laughs> I was like, that's it. That's their talking points. Is just like France, <laughs> <laughs> fucking France, dude. What'd you say? <laughs> yeah, dad policy would definitely be like France is gay. That's our number one <laughs> diplomatic measure. War on France. <laughs> War on France just by calling them gay. Turn the Middle East to glass. Start over. 
They ought to do that, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I was in Phil's ass, too. He got a cold. Oh, yeah, I heard. Oh. I heard him. He was a motherfucker about it. Mm-hmm. Dude, we got pizza. Stuck his hands all over the pizza. I was like, you're such a fucking dickhead. I stayed home and then argued with my dad. Classic Saturday night. What'd you, what'd Saturday you night fever. It was me and my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're being an asshole. You're sick, dude. What if you have it? Yeah, really? Just go to your room. And he was like, you fuck, get out of my house. <laughs> yeah. So he yeah. touched all the za. He touched all the za. What the fuck? Why it. was he doing that? I think he was drunk. Was he really? I think he had a couple drinks. And he was like, you're being an asshole. It's a cold, Shane. And I was like, even if it's just a cold, stop touching all the food. Yeah, this is a time, especially yeah. colds aren't really welcome right now. Colds are not. I was like, if I get a cold, I'm fucked. I'm going to have to literally like cancel yeah. September. Yeah, I forgot about this. You want to know what had Phil fired up? What? Got honky Phil fired up. What? Uh, LaMare, you'll like this. Do you remember when, who? what's his name? Montrez? Harrell. Montrez Harrell. Yeah. So last game he called Luka Doncic, Doncic, right? He called him a white, pussy-ass white boy. Called Luka Doncic? Yeah, Luka Doncic is a honk. Yeah. Montrez, very, his his life matters a lot. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He's that. Boy. So Phil took it personally. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, Luka Doncic hits a fucking ridiculous game winner, balls out last night. Like, sick fucking play. Really? Phil's like, yeah, how about that? There's that pussy-ass white boy for you. Like, just, <laughs> but in Phil's defense, because he was arguing this with me, and I was like, well, obviously, he's like, now imagine if that was different. Yeah. If Luka Doncic made a play and said that to Montrez, what would happen? Yeah. And I was like, you understand it is different, right? Mm -hmm. A little. He's like, tell me why. And I was like, you want me to explain, like, (laughs) history? (laughs) Is that what you want right now? But it was funny to hear Doc Rivers, his Montrez's coach, be like, yeah, people are sensitive these days. I sat him down. I was like, you can't say stuff like that. Can't say pussy-ass white boy. Can't call it. And he's like, I, look, I know him. I don't think it was a race thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> call him a pussy-ass white boy. Yeah. I think it might have been slightly racial. <laughs> it was funny. It was, it, was a, it was a big moment for the whites in basketball. Dude, I, I'd be sick if black dudes can't say white boy. If I was like, excuse me? What did you say to me? What did you say to me? <gasps> <gasps> Fuck was I watching? I was watching some sport with Phil. I think it was just golf mm-hmm. and they no, it couldn't have been golf because there were aids pills commercials anyway there's <laughs> hiv pills commercials and i was yeah. like dad you're gonna need some of those <laughs> and he was like what's that what's that and he started watching the commercial and he was like what? <laughs> i was like because you have gay aids <laughs> and he was like he got so upset dude. <laughs> it's so funny <laughs> get to bed phil greenhouse <laughs> I want to see you in that. Lay down. I want to see you in the sides of that bed, dude. Lay in that bed. Fuck. Lay down. Let me get my stuff off. Yeah. Get your stuff off. 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 She was born in Jamaica. She can't be president. You know who's after that? Nancy Pelosi. That's what this is all about. And I was just like, Kamala Harris was born in Oakland. <laughs> I was like, who told you that? And he was like, the shuttle driver on the way to the Mechanicsburg Club picnic. Oh, <laughs> and he was like, he just told me it. And I was like, yeah, that guy just lied to you. So Phil's standing there. Look, Phil's looking at his phone. Yeah. This is Monday Night Football. So he's got some bets coming in. He's got to take yeah, a look. Yeah. And I went behind him and went, go, Phil, what are you doing? And I grabbed his sides. <laughs> he got so fucking pissed. Dude. I scared the shit out. I scared him so much that he elbowed my sister. Oh. And dude, Did he dropped his phone? No, he held on to it. But he, I've never seen someone spaz this hard, dude. Phil spazzed. I go, I go, Phil, what are you doing? He's like, God damn, you fucking idiot. Like, just, he fucking spazzed, dude. And then my mom was laughing. Me and my mom were laughing. He was like, you two fucking idiots. And then she, I was like, what would you call mom? And he's like, I was, I was talking to your sister. Like, he had to, while, while angry, he had to deflect. 
I'm airing my family out pretty hard on this, but mm-hmm. it was Monday, which is when he definitely never drinks. Mm-hmm. He doesn't drink on Mondays. Really? So he's always so mean on Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> he's always so fucking angry. Yeah. Yeah, and then he'll be like, oh, it's Monday. You're not drinking? He's like, yeah, that's it, Shane. Sure. <laughs> yeah, it's because I'm not drinking, Shane. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> it's like, dude. I almost, oh. Phil, so we're at dinner, and somebody was like, oh, my skin's all dry. I was like, oh, I have some cocoa butter in my room. And Phil was instantly like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "What, dude? What?" Wait, I shouldn't have said what. This is a dinner, like it's like Thanksgiving dinner. Oh like, man! And Phil was like, "Because <laughs> I said I had lotion in my room," and then and I was so close to being like, "I don't use lotion." Oh, you almost offended. I had yourself. to. It was a trap. And then you don't want to say that. You well, can't you, be at the dinner table and be like, lotion, "I don't right? use lotion." You don't use lotion. Okay, if at hotel, I use lotion sometimes. True, only only on the road. He's been on my ass for this mustache. What about it? What do you think? He wants to shave it up. Yeah. What's his problem? He's like, what's this? What's this little? What's yeah. that on your yeah, lips? They get, they get dads get whacked. Man, so mad. If you wear like a new mm. thing or something, it he fucks them up. He fucking hates my tracksuit. What's his problem? <laughs> hates it. What's his problem? He's like, what the fuck? What are you doing? What yeah, is I don't know. He doesn't know exactly. I don't think he understands exactly what his <laughs> problem is. But if he sees his son in a totally matching outfit, he's like. What's going on here? What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Yeah. What are you doing? Is Phil we should, together? What we should yeah, do he is, he is. is before Phil yeah, gets the no, night he, before Phil fine. gets there, we should choreograph a dance. We should. Us <laughs> and the rest of the house should choreo- figure out a jump long, out the window. And when Phil comes in, don't say anything to him. But while we're all chilling, hit play on tonight's going to be a good night. Oh, my. Yeah, each one of us. <laughs> 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 we should we should use that trip as an opportunity Phil would like, sit there like an old man and just be like <laughs> <laughs> he would okay, be like okay okay oh fuck <laughs> no it's, if Phil's, he, Phil's this will be rough he's this gonna do, isn't gonna go well you don't you think so he's gonna be partying hard he's gonna be chilling at the beach how many days is he gonna be down there for I think three or four three Dude, is he going for the latter half? He's oh, he's going to tag me out. Yeah. I'll be there for... T- oh, dude. This is going to be one of the nicest... Your dad's going to be very fond of this. I'm telling you, man. This is... <laughs> With Spud? Yeah, dude. He's going to love Spud. Spud might be the weirdest he's combo. He's love Spud. Spud's going to hit him with a story, and Phil's going to be like, this guy, Shane, your friends are weird. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Spud's, Spud's, Spud's hit me with stories where I've been like, oh, my God, dude. What the fuck? Dude, it was it was wicked, man. She's like, "You, how many drinks do you have? I was like, there's like three, three, three drinks. Four, I don't know. That, I many, started yeah, hit it with the ABV. You hit it with, I was the, like, Phil, you hit it with the Phil Gillis, man. <laughs> I had fucking two drinks. What the hell? I know. No, you did. I watched you have six. What are you, a fucking woman? Shut up. I go with Phil to the bar, his bar. Oh. And it's always nice. It's always a nice time. It's nice bonding. Me and Phil don't hang out oh, like yeah. that. But then as soon as we get home, my mom's always like, how did you get home? Did you drive? Uh, He's like, I had two beers. And I'm like, nah, dad, I saw you have six. He's like, God damn it, shut up. You're like a woman. That's what he always hits me with. Every once in a while, Phil would come home from the nights or something. It'd be Phil on the loose. You got to just get out, dude. Because he, he wasn't doing it. He wasn't uh, actually hitting you. He was just, he was like, I'm going to get you. Like, okay, run. Yeah. It was very fun. So it wasn't an angry kick. No, but every once in a while, he would catch you and actually be like, you, you don't run. <laughs> like, hit you. <laughs> like, what the fuck? He was teaching lessons. He came home to teach some lessons. He, de- <laughs> he DUI'd from the, the nights to be like, I got to. Toughen these kids up. I got to teach them a lesson. Yeah, for sure. And I remember we were laying in the living room watching TV, and he kicked my sister. And she like rolled in. She like exaggerated the roll, but she rolled and hit the tree. And the what tree, was the lesson? The tree fell. The lesson was probably it was probably something like turn this off. I'm watching something. <laughs> <laughs> um, here's what I'd like to discuss. I went to a girls' high school basketball game this weekend Wee. to watch my old man coach. <laughs> Okay, what's he running? Zone or is he woman? Uh, they were is he running, running woman on woman? It's, no, they're running little kid soccer where everyone screams and chases the ball, uh, and the, whoever has the ball looks straight down <laughs> and goes like this. And it, goes. <laughs> it was fucking crazy. What? I I couldn't believe it. I was. I've had arguments with my dad about how many points I would score, and he's like, Shane, these girls would whoop your ass. And I watched. I was like, definitely dude, not, dude. I would score a hundred points. I mean, yeah. what? And also, the whole time I was thinking, this is how Phil is going to die. <laughs> Phil is going to have a heart attack in the middle of a girls' high Girl, school six A ball on the bench in front of all the girls that he's coaching, and they're all going to be like, 
Ew. <laughs> it's like, rrr, rrr. That's and statue then, stuff, dude. He's going to die at, like, at Redland or Cedar Cliff, and they're going to have to put him on the bus. Oh. <laughs> he's going to die at an away game. And it used to be bad. Before comedy was going well, my parents would be like, you are a fucking loser. <laughs> now they're like, dude, how are you doing? Yeah. How is yeah, this working? Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. You're like, it, I've been, I've I don't been training. Know. <laughs> yeah, I'll come up the steps. But I think I'm going to buy this house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one more word out of you, dad. I'm buying yeah, this fucking no, house. No, for real. It's funny. I make fun of Phil for money now. Puts him in his place, you know. Did, well, what for, a gift. For what years, gift. he was correct. He'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. I'd be down there playing Xbox. It makes it so much more powerful when you find yeah, like, like, I told the powers you. in you. I dude. told you. Yeah. It's <laughs> I like told when you, you beat your dad work. on yeah, I was on one one. Yeah. basketball uh, for the first time. You're doing it every day to him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're slamming on your I'm dad s- every fucking day with a wallet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I was downstairs. Home. My parents came home and my mom was excited to see me. Ran, ran down the steps. Midway through, <laughs> dropped the cookie. She was eating Oreos. Midway through, dropped the cookie and reached down to pick it up. On the lower step? Bro, fell. I'm talking five steps. Flat, parallel, <laughs> head first into a wall. Oh, my. The wall, oh, at the joint? At the base of the <laughs> oh, steps. Oh, God. In the basement. Oh, Jesus. So she was knocked out unconscious. We knew so, that was coming. But this is the best part. Katie's like, <laughs> oh, be- God, mom's dead. And my dad's upstairs. Hair, he's like, what? You can hear his voice crack. It was actually very sweet. He's like, oh, God, what? <laughs> And she was like, call an ambulance. He was like, okay, all right, what's going on? And I was down there like, it's all right, everybody relax. I was the only sober one. I was like, relax. Yeah. But that, I did think. Relax, uh, I'm up 30. I did think my mom. Dude, Just I finished, let the time I did run finish out. the game. I pressed pause. I paused, I paused my game for this. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, my mom started to come too, but the ambulance was already on its way. Oh, no. Fucking EMT guys come That's like down. like 10 grand, right? She's like laying there. I have no idea. She's laying there. And then she's like, an she's like, I'm okay. And then sits up and her hand was shattered. No! And she was like, but my hand hurts. And it was like, oh my God, dude. See an old woman's hand just gnarled, dude. Gnarled. Every, even everybody. My dad was like, Jesus Christ. EMTs are puking. She was so embarrassed. I hate when I go home and everybody around me is a fucking dumbass Republican. <laughs> Whenever I go home and I'm like, oh my God. I just roll my eyes, dude. Because oh I'm, God. you know me, I'm nice. Yeah, dude. So like if my dad starts with his shit, I'm just like. <sighs> oh. And I grit my teeth and I get through the holidays of listening course. to fucking ignorant trash. I don't know how many more I have in me though, dude. I, it's time we start discussing whether or not it's acceptable to go home and even hang out with your parents if they're going to spout bullshit. Yeah, dude crazy i would literally still go home if my dad was a nazi (laughs) i'd be like yo my dad's wild yeah if phil got if late in his life phil decides like it's time to bring back the reich collecting paraphernalia yes i'd be like all right phil (laughs) fucking less weird than women's basketball (laughs) what would you rather do have your dad be a Oh, this is mean. Never mind. No, no, go ahead. I'm being mean to Phil, dude. Phil's it, the best. It's not mean, but I think I know what you're saying. I can't tell you how much I love my dad. Dude, I know. We know you love him. I know. I, I so love my dad. I'll, I'll shoot the question. I'm going to be so fucking sad when Phil dies. Oh, man. I, I might quit comedy when Phil dies. That makes sense. I might be done. Jeff, just toss on I'll the I'll say Jeff there's cat. nothing funny anymore. You have to pick up the team. Phil's, Phil's the laughter in my life. Yeah, you have to pick up the team, dude. Yeah, I'll have to go coach With girls high school girls basketball. With those girls. What, so what would you, I mean, the answer, I, I thought you were about to ask me, would you rather, would you rather your, dad your dad be a Nazi or a, a women's, ass. not a pedo, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? <laughs> Did you just call my dad a no, pedophile? No, I thought you thought that you were making that connection and you were just not trying to do the thing. The For real, obviously the answer is you want your dad to be a Nazi over yeah, a pedophile. obviously, yeah. I don't think your dad doesn't have a funny bone in his body, bro, in terms of that nonsense. I'll, I'll be honest. I'm pissed you're if I thought, bringing if I it even, up to debate. If I even know, if I even thought he did, I would confront you live. I would whip his ass. I would confront both of you guys live. You would confront me and my father live sussed, on the podcast. I've sussed, <laughs> I've sussed out your whole situation. Not a goddamn pedophile in your guys' house. No, there's not a pedophile. Not a goddamn pedophile anywhere near. Thank that place. Christ. Yeah, seriously, dude. Imagine growing up in a pedophile house, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna do sure. that, dude. Phil, Phil will make a plate of like forty hot dogs, yeah, <laughs> and it's like, dude, no one wants these fucking hot dogs. <laughs> and then I'll just stand there and just slurp them down. Just just if, be, if I walked over and deep throated a hot dog in front of Phil, he'd, he'd what be do you think he'd be fucking. He'd, up. he'd fucking hit my arm. Be like, what the hell? 
are you doing? <laughs> Dude, you fuck him up like a... Japan started making VCRs. Uh, I knew he couldn't resist. <laughs> I knew he couldn't resist. He heard the chatter stuff. What a proper goodbye. You out of here? Yeah. Um, I'm going to need probably eight or ten. You need eight to ten tickets. On Thursday night. Okay. Believe me, there's seats all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Sold out. It's so Pittsburgh Improv. Sold out, baby. I told you guys. I told you guys. I told you guys. <laughs> no, they won't. They did. When? We parked. I saw him parked the other way, so I parked the other way, and I said Phil's going to come out, and he's going to say, "Guys, just so you know, your car's facing the opposite direction. They're going to, they're going to ticket Cops? you. I've seen them ticket you." I love to see him touch my car. If, if those fucking dumb pigs come out, I'm going to push them. <laughs> Phil, this house, we believe in science. True. If I see blue lives around my car, Phil, I'm going to fucking go off. Fuck the blue lives. <laughs> They're putting down the strips on the rubble. Trump's a pussy. <laughs> Phil. Phil. They put the rubble strips? Phil. Trump's a pussy. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bullshit. Oh. Told you. Told you oh, both that's things. so good. How, how well do I know that, man? That's so good. As soon as the red light comes on, he's he's got to be around the camera. Oh, yeah. He's a little gory hound, dude. I was home like two weeks ago. My dad, for lunch, was eating a tuna wrap with milk. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. In the middle of the day. I was like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Tuna dude. and dairy? Tuna and milk. Yikes. Just, dude, I don't know what it is. Oh. Dads have some that's kind of- what a cat of... would have for lunch. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Dude. It is, dude. But I'll say this, man. Dads know how to make tuna salad like a fucking Michelin star chef. They just do it fucking nice. Right amount of salt and how pepper. How many dads? <laughs> how many dads have you seen do this? <laughs> Two, including yours. <laughs> I assume it was a decent sandwich. I assume he threw down, yeah. Now, my dad used to hook up tuna salad. Put yeah. a little relish in it. Fucking be so jealous. A little black pepper. Make it nice. My dad would eat cottage cheese. Love it. Out of the can. Yeah. Love it. Mm -hmm. Is that normal? I don't no. know. I don't think it's, it's normal. I mean, disgusting. people do I it. I love it. Do you eat yeah. cottage cheese at no. all? Dude, no. I love it. He just would spoon cottage yeah. cheese. Put black pepper in there or sometimes a little any, bit of honey? I don't think anything. Just, just raw dog in it? He would, yeah, he'd be watching sports, drinking. I'd turn around, he'd be in the kitchen. <laughs> watching the game still. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Scooping down yeah. a lump of Breckstones. Oh. Uh, when your family rep ever represent themselves in court? No. <laughs> but my dad. <laughs> Somebody had <laughs> tried yeah, 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 or yeah. thought about it. So I was getting, uh, my friend got arrested for, we were, I was driving, we were driving past the cop and he screamed. He was like, fucking pig. Yeah, they don't like that. And he, he caught us mm -hmm. and he tried to, he pulled me out of the car. He didn't pull me out. He made me come out of the car and he was like, what'd you say? And I was like, I didn't say it. He was like, who did? I was like, I'm not going to tell. <laughs> I was like, I can't snitch on my friends. I ain't no rat. He was like, well, it came from your side of the car. And I was like, yeah. And it, it wasn't did. me. <laughs> I do the math here. Come on, dude. I'm not <laughs> telling you, but it wasn't me. And then uh, we went to court. and He brought you in court. for that? Court, dude. What? Court. What was the charge? I Obstructing. He was pulling someone over. Uh, it's bullshit. But these in the are middle trumped of, up charges. It was crazy. Yeah. And then in the middle of it, my dad stood up. Said something, and the judge, I guess he knew the judge somehow. I don't this know. This is bullshit, Larry. <laughs> he goes, he said something, and the judge, like, jokingly was like, are you, are you his attorney? And my dad goes, no, but I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last <laughs> night. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. The place went wild, dude. <laughs> There's no way my dad's taking a solid shit. Dude, I see bad. the turlets. Have you smelled his dumps? Like I haven't smelled a dump, but I've seen the aftermath. If you go to my <laughs> parents' house, if you go up to the my parents' bathroom, Jackson Pollock is on like the a, back. It, it's, it's a rest stop mosaic? It's a rest stop <laughs> mosaic, dude. He sprays the turlet. He hits the spray every time. You can hear it, dude. Every, you know, every time Phil shits, it starts with like a... <laughs> 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 it's funny. You can just yell. You can be like, "Hey!" He's like, "Shut up!" <laughs> I used to. I lay. I laid on Phil watching football. That's pretty sick. Too, too late. Like late. <laughs> like I was big. Yeah. And I was a big fucking kid. Yeah. <laughs> I was huge, dude. I was laying on. I was like five eight, laying on him. <laughs> it, was, it was like two adult men just laying on, <laughs> laying on each other watching football. 
He was probably buzzed as hell, too. He was probably <laughs> fucked up, dude. He was probably shit faced. Oh. I remember uh, the, the thing I remember most is just my head would be on his stomach and it was just constantly like, <laughs> like even as a kid, I was like, that's crazy. <laughs> Something's wrong. <laughs> but now I have it. Now I have the same same gut as my father. Oh. Yeah, it's gotta be so sad the day that your kid can't lay on you anymore. It's like, all right, this is I did used to uh, sock him in the nuts. Oh, dude. I get I get hit in my nuts as hard as humanly possible once a day. Yeah, the, ch- Just the children one, love it. Dude. Once a day, I got fucking kicked directly in my sack yesterday, <laughs> like full jumped on it. It was terrible. Wait, what's the Elks? The Elks Lodge. It's the fraternal or brotherhood. <laughs> they have a they <laughs> the have fraternal a fraternal order. Yeah, <laughs> they have a man frat. Yeah, they have a frat. It really? Just, it's just for dudes to get the fuck out of the house. Is it? Is there dues? Do you have to pay to get in? Yeah. Really? They're like throwing <laughs> my like dad was named bucks. rookie of the year. What? His first year. They have a rookie of the year. My father has a picture at the Elks. It, it, well, he did it for a year called the Rookie of the Year. It was a picture of Phil. How do you, <laughs> in a blazer how do you, in a suit. How do you get rookie status? Just dominated. Showed up nonstop. Put down brewskis. <laughs> yeah, what kind of stats <laughs> is he putting like, up? Damn, this guy's is unprecedented. <laughs> that is actually pretty sad. What? Getting the Rookie of the Year? Rookie the of the Year at a local bar that when you're like rules. 60 years old. <laughs> <That kind of laughs> rules. People are like, holy shit, this guy's an alcoholic. <laughs> What's the age range for the dudes? There's some young bro. My bros are getting into it from yeah. back home, which is the Elks does rule. It's like a dollar a beer. Yeah, that sounds you incredible. You pay your dues, you get like fifty cents beers. There was a bar in Westchester called the Eagles. It's a popcorn thing. machine. <sighs> Only one that's allowed to have his way with anybody I love is my father. My father for sure. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. I tell you, my dad tried to read my book and he made it five pages in and went, ew, and just closed it. He's like, That's fucking weird, man. He's like, I had to stop. That shit was weird. My dad, yeah, they're, they're very negative entities, fathers. Yeah. My, dad, my dad called me this week and he was like, I got some new material for you when you come home. Perfect. Because the stuff you're doing now is a little stale. <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> you fucking so piece funny. of shit. That's so fucking funny, dude. I got to go home to get my new material. True. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> you should spread the rumor that Phil's been ghostwriting this whole Phil time. Phil ghostwrites all of it. Sitting at that computer in the basement. Yeah. <laughs> God damn, how do you fucking... <laughs> There's been a printer in my parents' basement next to his computer that I think is not... It's a Bluetooth printer. <laughs> that's just a decade has sat there totally never used once it's, brand, it's still it's brand new it looks brand new because <laughs> he has no idea and he keeps trying to send shit to the printer <laughs> that's so funny because that's the glasses come down for that operation glasses come that's funny. every single day he's down there just <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> he's got a desktop down there just that makes so slow. I can't believe he still has a job. I know. <laughs> like they gotta fire him. No, dude. They make just, just, dude. The boomers made so much money that it's just like whatever. It's just they are truly just the bros hanging yeah. out. And that's how that's all his. He's a salesman. All his partnerships are just other dudes. Yeah. None of them can operate computers. They have to. Tra- <laughs> he has to drive to Syracuse. To be like, did you get that thing? <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no emails. He's got a Ford Taurus. He's got to take up to fucking Buffalo to be like, is everything good? And they're like, yes. <laughs> but oh. now all the old dudes are getting they're getting ousted. So now it's young kids. Oh. Now it's my dad working with dudes like our age. How is it? He's got to be so fucking funny. I'd be so pumped if that was my like, one of my sales <laughs> reps was Phil coming in and being like, let's go to the casino. Oh, it'd be so like, funny, dude. Yes. Yeah, that'd be fun. Phil's coming. We're getting fucking wrecked this weekend. Dude. Uh, it's the only way you can keep sales relationships alive. True. Because you go out, you, you go, face to face. fellas, let's go get fucked up. Let's have a good weekend. Oh, yeah. They're trying to outlaw that. Who? A lot of like companies are like, you can't go, like business expenses, you can't write off that's like bullshit. you guys going to the bars anymore. That's bull. Yeah, that's bullshit. Phil <laughs> uses ice cream. Phil's a user. I'll catch him. I'll be down watching TV. You know me. I'm a night owl, so I'm down there. Right and I'll on, see yeah, Phil man. come down at around 1 a.m. Oh. Shirtless. Big ass gut in the kitchen. Just. Bit, of, bit of a fruit bat, dude. <laughs> He's a complete fruit bat. He's an Australian fruit bat. I turn around and say, Phil, what the hell are you doing out there? He's like, what? What? I was sitting with Phil, so that was very fun. I got to trick Phil. 
Nice. Gonna put on a Nickelodeon slime football game. And so, like, when someone scores, they throw green stuff all over the field. It's fake. It's all, you know, yeah, yeah. filters and shit. But the first thing was, like, there was just a Santa Claus at wide receiver. And he, like, ran a route. And I could see my dad, like, what the hell? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> like, a player would score. They'd throw slime all over him. <laughs> Wait, He's so like, Nickelodeon pays on? to broadcast the game yeah. and slimes everybody? Yeah. Who watches that? The field goal becomes SpongeBob. It was actually, oh, it was actually your pretty kids enjoyable. Kind of quiet, yeah. yeah. Too, you can keep the watch yes. the game and keep your kids. It was pretty enjoyable. That's kind of nice. I liked the animated Santa running around on the field. Yeah, dude. But it was nice to see Phil. You know, and all the player like introductions were like cartoons of the players. He, he probably thought he was fucking losing it. So, you know, I mean, it, he has been like out of touch with like graphics. You know, what I mean, when he watches football, it's not what he used, to, what he remembered. True. He's starting to get like, what the hell is this? Because it's all like, it's like a, you know, like Fox football is like a robot. Like, yeah, I was, I was telling someone too. It looks, it looks more like video games. You just look more like the game. Now the game looks yeah. more like video games. It's kind of weird. You're exactly right. It's kind of. Has nuts. anybody figured out slime soccer? Dude, my dad. No, they can lower the. Court. My dad would get angry there if was we a, lowered the hoop. Yeah, well, I, I, I agree with that. My dad would get mad. Just out of like a, it should be high. Like, yeah, he's like, put yeah, it at ten. Learn how to play basketball. He would get angry. He'd see me <laughs> out. Like, Your dad's a basketball coach though. Yeah. I mean, he beat me up that time when I didn't play basketball. I've told you this story. What? Me and my friend were walking to the park, and he was like, what are you doing? And I, we had tennis rackets. I was like, we're going to play tennis. He's like, no, you're not. <laughs> you're going to play basketball. And I was like. Dude, I had the same exact shit happen to me. I went, because yeah. it was right when South Park came out, the movie, where they were like, can we have five tickets to Terrence Phillips' Asses of Fire? Nah. <laughs> so I was doing that to everybody. And Phil goes, no, you're going to go play basketball. And I went, no. Nah. <laughs> and he walked into the garage, and we just kept walking. We're cutting through all these houses in the backyards. Dude, Phil comes five houses down. He comes sprinting from between houses. I mean, he was an unhinged. Dude, he, he Russell was Crow. Russell Crowe. Fully unhinged, unhinged dude. Yeah. And then he chased me. In an open field. I never saw my dad during the day. I, saw my, I, I saw my dad. Dude, I fell down and he started kicking me. You ran? And he gave bro, me an elbow drop. Jacked. Yeah, he was. Phil was jumped on me. For playing tennis? For trying to play tennis. You'd rather do Well, for saying shit, no. Dude. Oh, yeah. They're going, go. no. <laughs> dude, five houses down. It's very far for him to be looking. So did you say no to him and then he waited? And he got like, I said no and he walked back into the walked, garage. We and then walked. he got... He did. He thought about it, yes, and then he dude. searched for me, <laughs> and then saw me and sprinted. You pissed him off so far, so much. You know, like Terry Tate, office linebacker. Oh, I saw him coming. He was like a, fo a football field away. Holy I saw him running shit. that far, dude. And what it were you like? like it was from, it's from a movie. Yeah, no, at first he was. He was. He understood it was while he was chasing me. He was laughing, <laughs> and then he got. He caught me. And for real was like, you don't fucking lie. You don't, fucking, you don't talk back. Dude, like that's what I, that's it's a rage. Insane. It's a rage you don't understand. In front of my friend. Yeah. Hey, my, it's just me and my friend. That's my dad the worst. gave me an elbow drop. That's the worst. Getting I mean, an elbow drop in front was, of your I friend. I was like, Dad, what are you doing? Dad, Dad, no. <laughs> Did he punch me in the face for a no once? Yeah. It was an accident. He tried to grab me by the collar. The phone was sitting Caught next to me. I was on the computer and I, he goes, answer the phone. It was ringing. I go, no. <laughs> <laughs> he, he walked straight back. He tried to grab my collar. I ducked. He punched me. Blood fucking coming oh out of my, my nose. God. What the fuck, Dad? Can you act abused for like the yeah, next week? Yeah. That's amazing. Dude, there's a rage dads have that I can't understand, but like I kind of get. I yeah, might probably denied sniz and paying for everyone's meals. My no, sister, also, if you have a child, you've raised a fucking. And then me sitting around like a fucking fat idiot playing yeah. games Thank and being like, answer the phone. And I'm like, wow. He's probably just like, <laughs> dude, I'm going to beat the fuck out of this kid. <laughs> Hold on. Phil played me and my friend two on one in football once. Really? That's we were watching football. You, dude. And my dad was you, like, you guys want to go play football? We ran the option. So whoever was the quarterback would pitch it. And my dad would spear whoever was oh, the quarterback. That's just it. Then he would score and run onside kicks. <laughs> he onside would kicks on back and roll the ball in the backyard. And if you tried to get it, he would run off. <laughs> Phil's it, last chance, you. It's bro. Unbelievable. Yeah. That's so sick. Uh, yeah, me and my friends still say it to this day. He was running into the end zone, going, "Yeah, baby." <laughs> <laughs> Keep saying it. He's going, "Yeah, baby." You're like, dude, this is nuts. He it's must like, have probably had a buzz. Definitely. Probably yeah. came home from the Alex was like, you boys want to play a little football? And, it, and that's my thing with my dad. I swear to God, all this shit is 60%. It's what? just to fuck with you. Yeah. Like, if that... Like, yeah, but he was all... Dude, he was leveling my friend. 
I get it, but I'm just saying, like, how big how big were you guys? We were probably like seventh, eighth grade, man. All right, you're That's big legal. enough. Yeah, you're big enough. He was yeah. drilling us, dude. He was was he tackling to the ground, like, yes, uh, or just we like playing tackle, throw, like throw his shoulder and knock you down, or was he like? Like dude, dude, alligator Phil rolling, wanted, form Phil tackle. Wanted, dude. Phil was big thirty three, dude. <laughs> yeah, Phil was big thirty three. He was. <laughs> yeah. Phil wanted to see if he could tackle high schoolers. Well, Back when I lived at my parents, Phil would fuck with me. I'm gonna go messing with Shane Squash. <laughs> a fucking a beef jerky commercial. <laughs> dads love commercials. Dude. Yeah, they, they, Ever since the Budweiser frogs, dads have oh, just dude. been. Where's the beef? They love catchphrases. Completely taken down. Right now, I think their collective mind is on the show Yellowstone for some reason. They all talk about Yellowstone. Every time I talk to someone, they're like, have you seen Yellowstone? Phil hasn't gotten hit, gotten hit with it yet. Is he a big TV series head or he's no. more sports guy? My Although he was on The Wire for a while this past yeah. year, which made me very happy. That's pretty tight. He liked The Wire. That was a treat. It's pretty enjoyable. Did yeah. I even tell you about his shoes? No, was he rocking? He's got, he got a black and white Air Force One. Oh, you did tell me that. Yeah. yeah. Who he got had him no from idea. again? I think my sister. Yeah. He has no idea what they are. He's just been rocking. He's them. just been wearing them with like <laughs> light jeans and a tucked in Big fucking t shirt. <laughs> He's been wearing Air Force Ones. He has no idea. He has no idea. He's been stomping. stomping in his Air Force Ones. He's stomping, dude. <laughs> Big boy. <laughs> dude. <laughs> That's so he goes funny. to the Elks and he says, Give me two beers. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like I always think about my mind taking in negative things and it just sets off this whole cocktail of reactions in my body. Yeah. Constantly. It doesn't stop. No shit. It's so funny. I don't think it'll ever stop, by the way. I don't think it will either. Yeah. Because then you just get old and like worse problems and then you just. Maybe it- you get old and just ride it out. Old men seem to have it. Yeah. Like if you talk to your dad or Phil, if yeah. I like Phil, what's going on? He's like, I don't give it. Like, shoot me in the fucking dude, head. Dude, literally. End this. Every picture my dad takes, he goes, that's going to look good at my funeral. Dude. Yeah. Put they it, love save it. that one. He calls it his box party. That looks good at my box party. That's, a, that's such might... a funny cope, dude. They're so afraid of oh, that. Oh, I know. Dude, they're, they're so terrified. afraid. They're terrified. It's the only way you can do it is just be like, nah, I can't wait. Yeah, you can make your dad cry I'm in two done. seconds. If you just stop them at a barbecue, I'm like, dude, you did a really good job as my dad. Dude, I love you. They'll just be like, Whoa. Yeah. They'll cry. Father. Do you say I love you to him? Yeah. Oh, man, but he doesn't so nice. say it back. Really? Phil does. Phil never, dude. Phil Me and my dad such, won't do it. We've never Phil broke has such it. a hard time with it. I yeah. don't say it to him anymore. I say I love you to my mom while I'm on the yeah. phone with my mom and dad. I, go, yeah. I love you, mom. I go, all right, see you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. See a other guy in the car <laughs> yeah. that I don't care about. I'm going to do it to him. I'm going to give it to him one day. <laughs> I love you? I fucking love it's you, tough. Man. It is. They handle it real weird. I told you when Phil, I don't Phil goes, all right. <laughs> yeah. That's what he does. Yeah. I accidentally hugged my dad one time and he went, like that and he flinched and was like Ugh. yeah because i was like i was coming out of a breakfast and i like, went to hug my mom and i like wasn't paying attention it was just my dad and i went to hug him and he went whoa my mom i think we've talked about it before my mom got into a recent like the last like eight years she started hugging Ooh. we've always hugged a little bit yeah. like she try to kiss you on the cheek when you come home yeah i do hug she's you. short and she always hits me in the neck and i was oh. like ew oh. can, and i she's like <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you can, like hear. Her. I'm like, all right, mom. You don't love me. I'm like, mom, stop. It's you gross. Should, you should bend down. <laughs> I'm gonna get it next I'm time she goes for it. I'm gonna go. <laughs> stop kissing, dude. It's weird. It's just what you wanted. I should try to kiss Phil on the cheek. Oh, he push me. He fight, yeah. If you can't, dude. No, he would know. See, Phil's got a good sense of humor. He would know I was fucking with him. What the hell are you doing? You guys have that back deck. If he's ever standing, looking over, come from behind him and kiss him (laughs) on the the, the back of his neck. (laughs) Holy shit. (laughs) Holy shit, dude. That he would like. He would fucking smash. Yeah, he would stand up. He'd pull you guys both over the edge. And he tries to, like, when I fuck with him, when he's on his recliner, I love, like, coming up and slapping him in the head and shit. (gasps) He tries to get up, like, fast, like he's going to chase me. He's always like, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> you can fuck with him I take, Dude when he's drinking I always take the remote from him oh, It's so oh fucking fun God. He comes over to the Elks And when I'm home I try I don't drink I'm home I'm yeah. just like Hanging out Phil comes home from the Elks I'm like <laughs> We'll sit down We'll go to get another drink I'll take the remote <gasps> Sit back down on the couch He comes back and he's like <laughs> <laughs> Give me a remote shame. <laughs> he to go, he do the whole fucking. <laughs> I, like, I, let it, I, let, I let it touch his hand. He's like, fucking let go of it. <laughs> oh, so fun. That's dude. the best, dude. You're a tease. 
Yeah. Just give me it. <laughs> and then he'll, he'll laugh and then he'll switch into like actually mad. <laughs> he gets furious. Hey, <laughs> give me the fucking remote. That is, that is a perfect like spaz brain though. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. ah, seriously, like, no, seriously, do not fuck off. God damn it. <laughs> but yeah, the slow get up is great. If I kiss the back of his neck, he would do that. Oh, On the my deck, God. he'd be like, <laughs> the hell are you doing? <laughs> you fucking kiss your father on the neck. Imagine, imagine if he sent a male prostitute to the house. Yeah, it's a hot male prostitute. Oh, what if it worked? <laughs> <laughs> what if I was like, this is gonna be a funny prank? And then my dad fucked a guy. <laughs> Just tore apart my entire family in existence. <laughs> Phil was gay. Yeah. Oh. Shane, why did you do that? What the <laughs> hell? Oh. Sent over that damn guy. Oh, just an know. olive skin man with like a ponytail <laughs> goes out and fucking gets. Gay. I think Phil and Tommy hooked up at the beach on the beach trip. <laughs> <laughs> they love. They were talking a lot, dude. I think Phil liked looking at Tommy's body. Dad, stop fucking my comedy friends, dude. <laughs> Dad, I had to get woken up at eight a.m. Who woke you? Phil pound, dude. He <sighs> pounds on the door like oh, he's serving a fucking warrant. <laughs> It's fucking crazy, dude. It nothing bothers me more. <laughs> doosh, doosh, doosh. Get up. That's how he fucking does it. Yeah, that's the best. It's so fucking annoying, dude. Yeah. No. I mean, I'm furious. And then my mom's yelling. Jane. <laughs> From she's like a cat, dude. She'll stand outside your door. Jane. Jane. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh my god. Gotta get moving. Oh my god. Shut up. You're having like grade school flashbacks. Dude, I was having I had a wild night. Yo, I also <laughs> somebody creative. trashed Phil on a comment we were talking about today. What the fuck? Yeah, it was pretty funny. I was reading them to him. Did he get him? Because people were killing him and then they were someone was like, Why does Phil have such fucking tragically small feet? <laughs> <laughs> Just eviscerated him. He has tiny feet, dude. <laughs> Phil has little tiny feet. He wears like size tens. He's six two. <laughs> so I forget they were killing him, dude. Oh, no. Like he looks like he's got Freddy Krueger's skin. He was like dark red Why'd and freckled. Like, Why would you show him? Because it was so funny. Because no. I was like, Phil, the comments are getting you. He's like, I don't care what those guys oh, say. Man. I was like, here's one. Yeah, I would read it. He'd so. be like, he was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> he started laughing. <laughs> got him right away. Imagine like if there was like a uh, psycho sports dad who did that same energy. On their kid. Yeah, it does. It happens all the time. It shatters the kid. Thank God. Phil Phil was close. He could have been that. Psycho sports parent. He he occasionally he would show up and watch practice. That's David. <laughs> he was bordering. But during the games, he never he would never yell one. He just, See, he just he was stood just, at the top of the bleachers. He was just invested. Did you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, one time I got done, my sophomore <laughs> sophomore year. <laughs> no, this is crazy. I get done. I came down to the basement where Phil was down there and he he like muted the television when I sat down on the couch and he was like how do you think you played tonight <laughs> I was like what the <laughs> fuck he was like if you had to grade yourself what would you give it oh. I was like the fucking B he was like I say D but <laughs> I was like holy shit Phil that was the only time he ever did it God he was mad at how I played I like talk to my dad like what's your cable plan he's like it's like $750 dude, I'm like dude stop paying this. it works for me I just steal everything Phil has true. HBO Max true you get to, Comcast. You get I get to watch the Phil's I steal $400 <laughs> worth of Phil's shit dude. he has no idea I'm like dude you don't need he's like yeah but it's right there you flick you talk to my remote yeah pull, I'm like dude. and that never they're like <laughs> Philly's baseball <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Comcast Sports Network. <laughs> it's like, you requested Paw Patrol. God damn it. It's like an Indian smelling me. <laughs> yes. I was fucking with, I was home after the Hershey shows. I was doing this to Phil. <laughs> no. I was home. And I kept going, Phil, fucking look at this. <laughs> this is the exact photo. I Googled naked man's ass. <laughs> I kept going like that. Goes, Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. That's <laughs> naked man's ass. Just a hunk's ass. <laughs> hunk's ass. Because I was just sitting there. We, we were hanging out with phil all day and i was like phil what are you what are you doing just sitting there thinking about guys nuts and asses he was like yeah okay shane i was like dad all you do is think about guys asses when my grandma was his age she I, we talked about it, she fell behind a bush trying to get her hose and just had to lay there for like seven hours
in the summer behind a bush. In oh, the, really? In the mulch, just. <laughs> Oh, finally, no. finally, the neighbor kids got home from school, and she was like, "Hello!" <laughs> <laughs> they just saw an old. It was a witch, dude. <laughs> they saw an old woman's head sticking out from a bush. Oh my god! They probably thought like, the azaleas don't go over there. <laughs> yeah, dude. She's gonna eat us. Oh, they probably thought like the azaleas were talking to her, talking to them or whatever. That's fine. Yeah. That's terrifying. Boys, used up. Yeah, I'm telling you. I thought on the last. I gotta tell this. It makes me laugh every single time. Phil. She was living with us. She fell right, right at the front door. She was just on the ground <laughs> next to our front door in like that side room. Just she was just laying on the floor. Phil had to move a couch in, so he asked the neighbor kid to carry it in with him. Oh. So the kid was carrying the other, the that end. Phil's walking it in. The kid goes in first and is like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> like he just an old woman just laying on the ground. And Phil came in second. It was like, "Ah, Jesus Christ!" <laughs> <laughs> there was just a downed woman just a downed woman and you know how weird it is when you go into like your neighbor's house yeah like you just see this house every single day oh, of your yeah. life and then you finally get inside it and you're like whoa yeah true i had no idea what this was oh then you see just an old a woman laying on the ground like hello <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck here it comes <laughs> yeah I think I, I think I need to pee. I, 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 I'm just gonna piss. I'm just gonna piss in this bed. Yeah. I'm gonna piss my pants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I piss in the bed. Nice. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I pissed one time in a, in the bed yeah. when I was 17. You know, it hadn't happened since like childhood. And I remember waking up and being like, coming from like a vivid dream where I pissed in the yeah, dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, you've got to be shitting me i couldn't believe it and i was so mortified that i just flipped the mattress over like i can't move i it is embarrassing took the sheets off flipped the mattress and that was it you Got pissed it. your pants didn't you just piss your pants as a an experiment the other day <laughs> that was a long time ago I, it was an experiment i was drunk and i had to drop a bike off and it was warm it was nice oh yes. you did it recently yeah like two months ago i thought you were talking about during your mental breakdown you were you just like yourself yeah, i think that was it you're just oh, standing yeah. outside and you're just like, i'm gonna piss right here no, wait, you pissed twice? What was it? <laughs> he did it one time at a low point in his life. He had a the low point break. was at Walmart, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah he was left at Walmart. Walmart. He you left were standing Walmart. at Walmart? Yeah, I was working and I wanted to see if anybody would know and I just pissed. Nobody knew. I you walked out. Jesus I walked out right Christ. <laughs> and then you're just standing in a pool of piss? No, it was just. It no, just, he trailed it. It ruined probably, my pants. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. It ruined my pants. <laughs> oh, so you soaked your pants. It stop. You didn't yeah. puddle. Yeah, I soaked my pants. It didn't make it. It didn't puddle. It didn't puddle. Okay. Did you just no say puddles. I quit? <laughs> Did you? You were working and you decided to piss. Your I wasn't pants. working at Walmart. I was doing like Aramark, like the snacks, handing out snacks and stuff. I was you were handing out snacks there. and you just stood there and pissed yourself. Not, not the snack <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> My shift was over, and I was like, "All right, okay, I can walk home." I just, yeah, insane. I'm blowing up Steve. Yeah, he's <laughs> up. Yeah. You decided to pee yourself up. before the walk it's home. So crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You're reality testing. You were deep in Inception. No, I was. That's mad. your spinning top. Just yeah. just this is a way crazier story than any of this drug shit we're talking about. Like, <laughs> that's so weird. What was the yeah, latest piss? The latest one. I was. You drunk. promised me you'd never do it again. I, I'm not. I was drunk, and I, I had you to swore. drop off a city bike. <laughs> I had to drop off a city bike. I dropped off the city bike, and then I. I had to go home, but it needed me to take a picture of the city bike. So I had to walk back to the city bike and I filled up with piss so quickly. And I took a picture and I had to make a choice. It was like either piss my pants or like pull your pants down and piss in yeah, front of the school, the... though. It was a kid's uh, school. Good a kid's oh, school. Yeah. Not an adult school. <laughs> yeah. What time was it? <laughs> it it was truck. midnight. <laughs> yeah, you can piss. Yeah. So wait, did you just you just stood there and pissed? Like, I did just stand there and piss. <laughs> did you just let a little bit of pressure off? But that one had a pool. No, I I full pissed. No, oh, it, was, it, was, it, was, it, it must have been a huge pit. If you were drunk, went, it went in my socks. It was in my <laughs> shoes. What shoes are you wearing? Uh, Definitely not these, those. Not these. Not these. <laughs> those are the only shoes you no, have. I got different shoes, dude. I got different shoes. <laughs> you lying, dude. Those I'm are not lying, shoes. dude. It was a different pair of Pumas, I swear. <laughs> it was a different pair of Pumas. <laughs> <laughs> were your piss Pumas? I don't believe. I don't believe that pissing in front of a school thing. Yeah. Remember when I got pulled over? I got pulled over by cops leaving our billies. And they thought I was undercover. Oh, yeah, yeah. The cops did? The cops thought I was an undercover cop. So they were like, pull over. We got to chat. I, I looked like a cop that much. They pulled me over. And I was like, what the fuck did I do wrong? You, you were they probably dressed up. like a kid who went to high school to buy drugs. Yeah, <laughs> for real. They pulled me over. And the guy goes, 369. 
And I was like, damn thing's fine. I thought he was, I swear to God. I thought he I thought he said a yin yang twin lyric. He goes, three six nine. Damn thing's fine. And they were like, no. We thought you were an undercover. <laughs> <laughs> You're like these cops are doing riddles. Yeah, like, Damn things fine. Damn yeah. things fine. <laughs> that is so fun. <laughs> I always had cop face and cop hair. Yeah, and like, we got, we look yeah. like three cops. Dude. Yeah, we do. Yeah, it's pretty sick. <laughs> it's actually, three it's tight, dude. Yeah. Man, get on the fucking ground. <laughs> Damn things fine. Three six nine. <laughs> three six nine. Damn shorty's fine. <laughs> is that what you guys mean? <laughs> you guys just wanted to hear me say some yin yang shit <laughs> back to you. Pulled me over to ask yeah. me a rap lyric. <laughs> Who are the? I know you're, but you're a big history guy, right? Oh yeah. So what? Are, what? That's I mean, Custer, and that's Ulysses S. Grant. That's Grant. Yeah. That's you been Grant. to Grant's farm? No, I've been there. So I was dating uh, somebody in the Anheuser Busch family, and they own that property. What? They own Grant's. What farm. was his name? His name was. Uh, <laughs> his name was Philip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Philip Anheuser yeah, Bush. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, lots of beer and lots of gay shit went down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I fucked so many guys there. What a dream. Yeah. You, you've done horrific things there. You dropped the rock on a bird? Yeah. You caught the bird slipping then. Yeah. That's a bird's fault. Did you get two birds? I got one. <laughs> Squished a frog. Oh, He's done yeah. all types of shit. It was in a bag already, so I just squeezed it. He squeezed a frog once. <laughs> Boy, why was it in a bag? He's just running because so, a kid at camp caught it and was trying to keep it. And he his retarded ass walked up and was just... <laughs> left it, left the bag. <laughs> the kid came back to his frog. His frog exploded in the bag. That probably yeah. haunts that kid. He's probably like, so, oh, you can't keep frogs in bags. So <laughs> probably tells people, he's like, if you catch a frog, don't put it in a bag. They fucking explode. <laughs> so far, we have like killing animals for fun and pissing, pissing in stores. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. No, yeah. he's for real. Like, you know that's fucked up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hi. My name's Holly, and I run Happy Hands Daycare. The coronavirus shut down our daycare center. People just didn't feel safe sending their kids. We were about to close our doors, but then we had an idea. We realized that there's probably so many people stuck inside with family members that they just can't stand. So we decided to reopen as a daycare center for uncles. Hey. Uncle Hank, good to have you today. I got a hemorrhoid like a monkey knuckle. All right. When most people have an uncle, they never think they'll spend all day with them. Hey, uh, you guys say fire beautiful, right? Good morning, Miss Holly. My mom told me to say thank you for all the prayers for our iguana. Once COVID hit, that nightmare became a reality. Uncle Shane. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Come on in. Wow. Wow, nice shirt. What sound does a wolf make? Wolves. So we offer a solution. We give uncles a place to go during the day. <laughs> Each day starts with a morning meeting. Wait, what? We give all the uncles a scratch-off ticket with their schedules on it. Yoga? God damn it. Fuck. Then the uncles participate in a variety of activities that suit their skill set. OK, Uncle Tommy. Yeah? How old are these girls? Are any of them underage? Well, you can do this. I know. Okay. Go ahead. They're all beautiful angels. Right, but are any of them underage? I don't know. So I have to assume they're all they're all underage. All Great of them. Great yeah. job, Tommy. Yes. I'm so proud of you. Yes, I'm proud of myself. Remember guys, as developed as they may seem, it doesn't mean they're eighteen. Uh, does my computer? Did you guys get this laptop? This is conspiracy class. Yeah, so basically the Hunter Biden video from his laptop is fake, but it's actually him, but they gave him a fake giant boner. Yeah, dude. Italy's black. Italy's black. He's saying Italians. Oh, Italian. Oh. I actually have evidence that Jimmy Hoffa was one of the pilots on one of the planes. My cousin told me. What? Yeah. We read the uncle some books to help debunk some of their conspiracy theories. But I don't trust the vaccines, cried the rabbit. Oh, but you should, rabbit. They're safe, explained Farmer Jim. If you don't take the vaccine, you won't be able to play with your rabbit friends anymore. Yeah, all right, but what happens when the vaccine turns them gay, like what happened with me? Well, remember, Uncle Tim, that's a conspiracy. Yeah, the vaccines don't make the rabbits gay. It makes them artistic, like painting and shit. 
I'm an Uncle the Hank. Farmer's giving the rabbit the vaccine so he can control his mind. Here at our daycare, we have lady uncles too. With our lady uncles, we give them a pack of cigarettes, a robe, and a window they can look out of to keep an eye on things. See these kids out here? Look at these kids. They're just riding their bikes. Yeah, from what country? At Uncle Daycare, we provide snacks. Hey, Uncle Hank. Feeling famished? The uncles get a beer at 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 1 p.m., and 3 p.m. Uncle Tommy gets a beer every half hour. Love your beers, too? Mm -hmm. All right, no problem. We make sure the uncles get plenty of exercise every day. Gushers here? Yeah. What kind of bullshit is they that? They gave me a breathalyzer and now I can't ride my harrow anymore, so. Uncle Tim, that's great. We do exercises like taking out an air conditioner and moving it from the house right. to the car. Ah! So Put in that hatchback! Ah! Put in that hatchback! Yeah. You did that! We have other exercises like bringing in the groceries when someone else buys. Whoa! Show you pussy Let's go. I got three. Let's go. We try to return the uncles back to you a little bit better than when you left them. <laughs> Don't oh, laugh. Hey! Hey! Sir! This sir. asshole just whistled at my daughter. Sir. She's 17! Sir, sir, listen. As, As developed as she may see. I'm gonna kill this motherfucker! Wait, they're uncles! The what? Yeah, they're uncles. It's good. Yeah. They're all... They're uncles. <sighs> Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't. It's okay, you didn't know. Okay. I, didn't you didn't know, know. I didn't that's, know, buddy. I didn't know. That's okay. You okay, did you fall down the stairs? Uh, but I got hit by an ice cream truck. Yeah. Hey, Uncle Mike. What you making? Hmm? Uh, uh, Uncle Mike, mm -hmm. don't you think something like this would hurt um, Miss Holly's feelings? A statement like this. It might make her feel unseen and unloved. She knows I see her. I, I stare at her all day. She knows that. Yeah, she does know that, but that's not really what I'm saying. Um, I think you can do better than this. Come on. Yeah. Good. And what do you have, Uncle Tommy? <laughs> <gasps> it's you a beer. Oh, your favorite. That's awesome. Yeah, now go get me one. <laughs> Fixed it. Oh. Uh, you know what? To start. I'm gonna give it to her. I don't think you should. Well, uh, oh. Nice. Thanks. At the end of the day, the families come to pick them up. We walk the uncles out to the car and call it a day. Have a good one, guys. You know, people always ask me, what's harder, uncles or kids? Jake, get out of there! It's uncles. Come on, Tommy. Come on, come on. Come on, come on Tommy. Oh. Kids don't try to kiss you all day. You know. No. They have better language. Dude, I'll suck your fucking dick right now. No, just shut up. All people have feelings. Not Italians. All feelings matter. Nope. Sometimes they make you feel a little uncomfortable. <laughs> no, no, I can't oh, feel shit. Help. Fucking pricks. Kids don't do that shit. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. Yeah, well, just give me a second. You were in the bathroom for a goddamn hour. No, no. Fuck you! I gotta piss. We just hope tomorrow will be better. Uncle Tommy! Because some guys can hide what they that they're actually retarded idiots with like a beard. True. Nowadays you can hide it with a beard. How, True. Works how well. kind of ugly you are. True. Works well. Not you. You're handsome. You're hot. You're a handsome guy. Everybody was very soft spoken and kind and very. Uh, not a lot of like ooh, ooh that well, you get out of this one. <laughs> a lot of everybody was very subdued and polite. Taking it easy. Just good people, you know. Mask, clean mask. Oh, I can look at me like I that. just didn't appreciate that. <laughs> I apologize. You're right. I promised you no personal attacks. Yeah, you already personal attacked. That felt like a, couple a PA. Times. Yeah, a few nah, times. Huh? Hey, dude. That was the first PA. Nah, true. That was the first what was PA. the other one? Come on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't be a goofball. <laughs> what are you talking about? I didn't goof once.
I had to stare right at that wall when you're talking about beard and stuff like that. <laughs> because some guys can hide what they that they're actually retarded idiots with like a beard. True. Nowadays you can hide it with a beard. How True. Works how well. Kind of ugly you are. True. Works well. Not you. You're handsome. You're hot. You're a handsome guy. <laughs> no, you have a nice beard. I hear you. You're a handsome guy. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying some of the listeners can hide behind a beard. You don't. But I don't appreciate some of your behavior this weekend. That I mean, dude, junk. Yeah. I mean, do it, do it. Crack you know. my phone. I chip my tooth. I'm an idiot. I get it. You're one of those do as I say, not as I do type. No, guys. I do as I you do. You cracked your tooth? Yeah. What the hell were you doing that? What, what happened? I don't know. I think my necklace hit it, and Jesus, when I tried to move away dude. with something real fast. You showed your ass. I didn't show my ass. You showed your fucking ass. Out of everyone there, I was okay. You got drunk and now your teeth are fucked up. You showed your ass. No, your tooth's <laughs> fucked up. I What's that from? It's just from wear and tear, bro. <laughs> what <laughs> happened to your tooth? Grind my teeth, man. Oh, I didn't even notice it. I got TMJ. Thanks for pointing. Same here. I personal like, that's, a PA. That's, a PA. that's 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 a PA. My jaw clicks all the time, too. Yeah, dude, but like I grind my teeth down. I got I to be honest. I'm a bill on this. I chipped a tooth on a glass on a glass this past summer. You see mine? Oh, yeah. Dang, we're like kind of the same. Right? Yeah, very similar. <laughs> Damn, that's kind of sick, honestly. That's pretty sick. I don't know how faithful dog girls are. They love their owners, dude. All right. <laughs> True. I mean, yeah. We'll see. Uh, we'll she, see. Might, she might run away. Some dogs run away. Some dogs get out of the house, dude. Yeah, awfully bad. <laughs> <laughs> Look, don't try to ruin my new relationship. I'm not trying to ruin anything. You definitely are, saying, dude. Maybe not in your best interest to carry on like this. Ah, dog girl. I would give him dog girl. Dog girl. Thank even you. just being friends too online. Yeah, and, we're just know, goofing online. Wherever it goes to, it goes to. And then if it just, just you know, if online. I happen to be in LA or wherever, and I said, <laughs> <laughs> what did that fire? No, look? I think it was Kev. Ooh. What did Kev say? We were just. He saw me taking a picture of you when you were a young boy. Yeah. We got to talking. <laughs> okay. Conti- uh, continue. He just uh, talked about how like the other guys had. Victoria's Secrets, you had men's health. Men's health. Oh. <laughs> that's a PA. That's a PA. I didn't that want to do it. PA. That's a PA. Because I, I had the Victoria's Secret too, bro. <laughs> nah, I had one night, in Paris, one night in Paris bonus features. <laughs> right. had that. Oh, Sick. I had the magazines, thanks to Matt. I got caught with True. that. But at the same time, dude, He's I'm stitched. a grown boy. True. I admire the male physique in a non-homosexual manner. <laughs> and I want to know how to build myself like those guys. True. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with it. It was just a personal attack, dude. It was, it was a just a PA. It was a PA. shot. It was a bad shot, dude. And it paid off. You got a great body. Maybe if I had some men health laying yeah. around, I wouldn't be, you know, where I'm just at. Sent, you should have next Stayed day sent her revelations. Pa- on our last Patreon, <laughs> Spade <laughs> said poetry's not gay. Yeah. Be no! <laughs> <laughs> no, you were saying. You, you just like, PA me through no, a PA? Didn't. You were like, was she fat? And I said, that was a PA. You were just asking him. No well, he said she was pregnant. No fat broads, sure. bro. No fat broads? <laughs> yeah. Ever? No. That's right. Never, ever. Never ever. It's kind of gay. If you don't have sex with a girl that's fat, it's kind of gay. Yeah, it is slightly gay. Who's to say what fat yes. is?